Hello my dear student, welcome to Now Sir Bio class. So today we discuss a very important chapter for CBSC class 10. In the class 10 of the CBSC, the most important chapter is there that is the control and coordination in animals. Control and coordination is very important for every human beings. Not only in human beings, in all the animals and also in plants, they have also some sensation system also be there. But in that chapter, today we discuss about the control and coordination in humans. So all of the students are welcome to our live class in CBSC class 10, control and coordination. But this class is for the CBSC class 10. But all of the students, all the other class like 10, 6, 7, 8 and 9, all of the students have this chapter that is a control coordination and especially the nervous system. So this chapter is important in all of you. So please you carefully learn all of this topic that is we discuss one by one. After that I give some homework in YouTube description box. Please you follow this uh, homework and download, download this homework and follow total all instruction and complete the homework that is most important some question which is must be coming in your exam in your school so that is most and most important chapter so uh, in our today class welcome all of the student like Sh Shomujit, Shaptoshi, Devanko, Pomit and Roshmi, Shores, Aroshi, Krishna Shish, Ishan, Nirupama, Devolina, Srijita and Shutanu, Shomuditto, Devarun, Ankon, Wendrila, Shomujit, Dishari, Shuditto, Shohom, Onubhav, Rastip, Gaurav, Shores, Aniket, Shatanik, Srindila and Shayo. All of the students, please join our class very fast. Now we do it. today we are start the most important chapter that is the control and coordination. In the control and coordination, today we discuss the nervous system. Nervous system is, you know, that is most important and very fast coordination system in the human beings. In the human beings, all of the systems, we have the special cell. Because you know, when the any system that is made up of tissue, right, they have different organs, they have different organ system. So the organism is there, like the human beings, we have the nervous system. So we have the different organs like the brain is there, like the spinal cord is there, but brain and spinal cord is the organ. So they are made up of some tissues and tissues they are made up of cells. So in the nervous system, a specialized tissue, specialized cell is there that is called the neuron. Not only the neuron, another one type of cells also be present. It is the neuroglial cells. But most important in your syllabus now, that is the neuron cells. This is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. We discuss some detailed structure about the neuron. What is the different parts is there? So the neuron is the functional unit of the nervous system. Nervous system there main functions coordination. In all these functions is happening by the help of this neuron. Clear? Okay. Now, most important, their structure. They have the different parts. They have the cell bodies, like dendrites. They have the axons. But this is the neurons. They have the capacity to transmit the impulse from one part to another. But one important cell also be present in our nervous tissue. That is the neuroglial cells. They give, they give some protection, they give some framework in our nervous tissue. So this neuroglia also the most and most important tissue or cells in our nervous system. So neuron can generate and transmit the nerve impulse. So we discuss now the different parts of our neuron. This is called the cell body. Neuron is a specialized cell. Because their structure is totally different for normal cell. But why? Because their function. They have the function to transmit the nerve impulse. So they are, their length is shown why? Right? So this is the cell body of the neuron. You know, this is the structure of the cell body. It is also be called the 
cyton from the cell body a small processes is emerging out that is called the dendrites this is the dendrites then what is their function they just receive the impulse from other neurons so that is the most important structure also so the function of the dendrites to the receive the nerve impulse towards the cell body after that from the cell body a neural tail is there that is also we call the axon what is the name the axon this is the axon structure this is a long process is there and they carry the impulse away from the cell body so you got the difference between the dendrites and axon axon is a long processes on the other hand dendrites is a small processes and dendrite that receive the impulse and sent to the cell body on the other hand the axon carry the impulse away from the cell body that is the most common to difference between the dendrites and axon now this is the axon you know the axon is the most important part also in our neuron structure sometimes the axons is not a single form when they are bundled together that time they are form a nerve so nerve is there in our structure which is made up of many neurons so a nerve is a bundle of axon that is the bundle of the neurons so it is the nerve you can uh, see the picture different types of nerve different type of nerve and their function also be there so if we are classify the nerve so basis of the classification of nerve they are the different type similar type of classification also be there in the structure of neuron also the neuron are classify according to their origin according to their location according to their structure and according to their function similar like also the nerve is classified according to their origin according to their location structure and function clear they were doing clear <coughs> of con right now we are discuss one by one what is the uh, classification is there of nerve or neuron according to their origin so first of all the origin some nerves that is originated from our brain that is called the cranial nerve what is the cranial nerve this is emerging out from our brain so the cranial nerve made up of cranial neurons because the nerve is the bundle of neurons right so cranial nerves first of all from their origin next this one is a cranial nerve some facial nerve is there that is a part of our cranial nerves another one is the spinal nerve spinal nerve means this nerve are originated from our spinal cord so they are called the spinal nerve right so according to the origin we classify it into the two group that is the cranial nerve and the spinal nerve clear very easy now we discuss the another topic classification of nerve in the different aspect types of nerve based on the direction of the nerve impulse in which direction they throw the impulse according to it we classify the nerves number one motor nerves motor nerves mixed nerve and the sensory nerve the three type of nerves is there number one the sensory nerve sensory nerve that is made up of sensory neurons already i tell that the neurons when they are bundled together they are form the nerve so the sensory neuron made up of sensory nerve but what is the function of the sensory nerve sensory nerve carry the impulse from sensory receptor to the cns sensory receptor means like skin is the receptor like eye is the receptor they just receive the signals and throw it into the brain or central nervous system by which nerve by the sensory nerve so the function of the sensory nerve is carry the impulse from sensory receptor to the cns that time they are called the sensory nerve 
On the other hand, if I ask you a question, what is the function of the sensory neuron? That time you will tell me that the sensory neurons carry the impulse. Same, the same uh, parts like function is there. Impulse from sensory receptor to the CNS. Clear? So this is the sensory nerve and sensory neuron. Another one, like from this eye, the sensation is the ultimately transmitted. Now the another type of nerve or a neuron that is a motor or a frame nerve. After getting the signal in our CNS, it is now transferred to our effector, like muscle is the effector. But how the nerve impulse is transmitted transmit from our brain or our CNS to the effector by the help of this motor or efferent nerve. So motor nerve carry the impulse from the CNS to effector. CNS to the effector. That time it is called the motor nerve. That is the most important question. What is the difference between sensory nerve and the motor nerve? On the other hand, similar type of question is there. That is the what is the difference between sensory neurons and the motor neurons? Same like answer is there. Are she clear? You understand it? Okay. Now, so it is a motor and efferent nerve. Another one type of nerve is there in our spinal cord. That is a mixed nerve. That is the mixed nerve. That means it is the both afferent and efferent. That means the both sensory and motor neurons or motor nerve is there, so they are called mixed. But in where, but in which part of our body the mixed nerve is there? Mixed nerve is there. Most commonly it is the spinal cord because they have to take the important role in the reflex action that is we are discussed in the next classes. So it is the most important function of the mixed nerve. So mixed nerve has the both the afferent and efferent nerve. Clear? Very easy topic. So we understand the three type of most important three nerve. Sensory nerve, motor nerve and the mixed nerve. Clear? Okay. Now we are going to our next topic. Please you tell me the, uh, the answer. Write down in the live chat box which of these parts of the neuron is also referred to as shoma, which is means the nucleus. Which one? The another name of the shoma. Which part of neuron it is called? That is the cell body. Very good. Now we are going to the another part. Okay, please now you will note down all of these things in your copy. So, today we start the most important chapter that is the control and coordination in animals. This is the syllabus in our CBSC 10 syllabus, right? This is our chapter for today class. But we are divided the total chapter that is the control and coordination in animals in the different days because we try to emphasize or Specialized the every topic. So you are confident about all the topic, right? So at first day, so it is today our day one. So in the day one, we discuss the nervous system introduction about the structure of neurons in our today class. But day two, that means the next day, we discuss about the reflex action in our day two syllabus is there. But when the day 2 syllabus we study, that time you give a mock test on the day 1 and in the day 3 we discuss the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system and in the central nervous system we discuss about
about the brain structure. But when uh, we are go to our day three syllabus, that day you give the mock test about the syllabus of the day one plus day two, day two syllabus. And after the chapter is completed, that means the coordination in animals. So when I completed the day one, day two, and day three, so after that you are give the mock test day one plus day two and day three syllabus. Right? So number one in the day one, so nervous system. After the class is completed, please you all of the student write down these notes in your copy. Clear? Write down these notes in your copy. So if you are very easily understand all of the topic in very fast and very easy mode, right? So the nervous system in the day one. So nervous system, their most important function is the control and coordination. But nervous system, which is made up of a specialized tissue called the nervous tissue. Which tissue? This is called the nervous tissue because the tissues are there which is made up of organs and organ is some of the organ system are produced. So nervous system is the one type of system. So they have the specialized tissue that is called the nervous tissue. Now the nerve cell they have the another name. They have the another name that is the neuron. So what is the neuron if I ask you a question. Neuron is the functional unit of the nervous system. What is the functions doing our nervous system which is totally controlled by the neurons or the nerve cell, right? Now, we discuss the most important another question that is the function of our nervous system. Our nervous system has a different function but one by one we discuss that things. Number one, receive the information from the environment. We have the different sense organs like eyes, like tongue, like ear. Our environment has a different type of sensation are happening in always. And our sense organ just receive this signal and send it to our brain by the help of this nervous system. So this is the function of the uh, important uh, nervous system. The function of the nervous system is that the function receives the information from the environment. Second, second function. Receive the environment from the environment, from the environment that means the internal environment. It's like in our body, different type of uh, stimulus also be happening in the internal environment like in our muscles, like in our um, uh, different organs, right? They also, the most important function it is, inter this is the external environment and this is the internal environment. And, and another important function, it acts according to the muscles and glands sometimes our nervous system is give a information that I just take this pain that means our muscles will work on it but to which this information that is I take this pain this information is given the nervous system so the act according to through the muscles and the glands so if I ask you a question the right the function of the nervous system so you write down like that. receive the information from the environment, receive the information from internal environment and control and coordinate the internal environment and acts according to the muscles and the glands. So this is the three important function of the nervous system. Now we discuss the structure of the neuron. So how you define this neuron? Neuron is a structural and functional unit of the nervous system. So that is the most important cell which is control the function of the nervous system. So I define it is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. Clear? Okay. This is the structure of the neuron. All the student after the class is finished, 
when you are note down this all of this thing in your copy that can you also draw this picture this is the structure of the neuron in or you already understand that this has the structure that is the cell body this is the dendrites and the most prominent nucleus is there in the cell body and these long processes are called the action and in the terminal end of this action it is called the action terminal that's what we discuss now but this is the structure of the neurons which is controlled the all the function of our nervous system now neurons they have the most important few parts one by one we discuss this thing they have the structure like the cell cytoplasm or cell body they have the part the action they have the part the myelin sheath dendrites these parts are part belongs to the cell body or cytoplasm so this is the part of the cytoplasm or cell body this part is the action and in the action you can observe that on the action a sheet are covered that so this sheet are called the myelin sheet all the neurons have no or have not the myelin sheet which neurons have the myelin sheet they are called the myelinated neuron on the other hand which neuron have not the myelin sheet they are called the non myelinated non myelinated neurons but it is the myelinated neuron why because the myelin sheet is there so now we discuss this part one by one so first part is the cytoplasm or the another name is the cell body so this is the cytoplasm or cell body you can observe this thing so this is like a star shaped structure star shaped structure with many hair like appendages or hair like structure you can observe that shows the cytoplasm is the star shaped structure and the many hair like structure that is protruding out of the margin of the cell body this is the margin of the cell body and some hair like structure is emerging out this is called the dendrites this is called the dendrites so what is the dendrites if i ask you a question dendrites they receive dendrites is a small processes which is emerging out from the cell body if i ask you a question what is the function of the dendrites that can you tell me that is a dendrite receive the nerve impulse they receive the nerve impulse from other neurons it is their function now this is another part the second part that is the axon axon is a tail the like structure this is the structure of the axon so this is the tail of the neuron this uh, and the ends of this axon they have a hair like structure that is called the axon terminal or axon uh, bulb also it is called and you know the axon terminals relay the nerve impulse from one neuron to another neuron because in our body not a single neuron is there the many neurons are connected together so when the nerve impulse are transferred from one neuron to another neuron that time this ending part of the action is take the important role to transport the impulse from one neuron to the another neuron so this is the action structure and now the third part that is the myelin sheath myelin sheath this is the structure of the myelin sheath but some portion the myelin sheath is not there that is called the nodes of ranvier so what is the nodes of ranvier for the myelin sheath are the absent but what is the myelin sheath myelin sheath like a cover like in where according on the axon so there is the insulator covering around the axon this is called the myelin sheath this one is the myelin sheath right so this is the different parts of our neurons now we are discuss about the different types of the neuron we already discussed this that is the sensory neuron motor neuron and the mixed neuron so number one sensory neuron what is their function why they are called the sensory neuron because they receive the signals 
from sense organ and send it into where? Please write, write down in the light chat box. Sensory neuron receive the signals from the sense organ, but where it is sent? Please you write down in the light chat. All of the students who are, are now present in our class, please you input in the light chat box. Because it is a live class, so you must be input in your live chat box. So sensory neuron, that is the receive the signal from the sense organ and send it to dash. Please you write down which one is the dash. Okay, very good. Devarun, Ankun, Shomojit, very good, Arushin, Shouresh. Now, I give the answer now. They receive the signals from the sense organ and send to the CNS. Right. After that, another type of neuron, that is a motor neuron. Motor neuron sends the signal to the muscles from the CNS. So in here, transfer the nerve impulse from receptor to the CNS. In the motor neurons, they send the signals to CNS2 from the CNS to the effector. In here, muscle or glands acts as a effector organ. So it is the difference between the sensory and motor neuron. Another one is there that is called the mixed. Mixed neuron or the associated neurons. Because they have the relay station, relay station and the signals between the two neurons, that is the sensory neurons and the motor neurons. So they are called also the also the relay neurons. Relay neurons. Why they are called relay, relay neurons? Because relay the signals between the sensory and motor neurons. They like uh, transport the neuro, transport the signals from sensory neuron to the motor neurons, so they are connected the, these two parts or transfer the impulse from these two parts so they are called the relay station so it's relay station that means the associated neuron where it is found it is found in dash please you write down in the live chat associated neuron or relay neurons where it is found in your body very fast you write down all of the students in your live chat box. Shaptoshi, Shomujit, Isha, Krishna Shish. Please you write down. Devarun. Okay, very good. This is present in spinal cord. Very good. So, this is the different types of neurons. Another one important part is there that is the synapse. What is the synapse? This is the one neuron, this is the another neuron. But in between the two neurons, it just gap one part is there. This is junction between the two neurons. So synapse is the, the point of contact. This is the point of contact between the terminal branches of the axon of one neuron. So this is the terminal branch of this neuron, this, this point and the dendrites of the another neuron. This is the dendrites part of this neuron and this point of connection or contact, it is called the synapse. Please you write down, this definition is very good. So the point contact between the terminal branch of this neuron and the terminal branch of the axon of the one neuron with the dendrites of the other neuron is called the synapse. Clear? Now, most important one thing is there, how the transmission of nerve impulse are happening. So at first our sense organ is there, which receive the sense, right, which receive the stimulus. But what is happening next? Now, at first the dendrites, it is the dendrite, they receive the stimulus. So at first the dendrites. After that, 
they transfer the impulse in where in the cell body so i write down the cell body after that the cell body the nerve impulse is transferred to the axon one by one so at first they receive the stimulus which part dendrites so i write down the dendrites after that they transfer it into the cell body after the axon after that nerve ending that means the axon ending nerve ending of the tip of the axon makes a synapse that means a contraction the uh, junction point between the two neuron after that the next neuron that means the dendrites of the next neuron it is the transmission of nerve impulse very easy but you clearly understand it this is most important in your cbsc class syllabus that is the dendrites next cell bodies next the axons next the nerve endings next the synapse next the dendrites of the next neuron this is the transmission of the nerve impulse clear now we discuss our last topic that is the neurotransmitter in the synapse this is the axon terminal end that is that is also we call the axon ending point in there some small vesicles like structure is there this structure filled with a chemical things a chemicals which is called the neurotransmitter so neurotransmitter is a chemicals acting as a signaling molecules for the uh, like the chemical messenger which transmit the signal across the chemical synapse so what is the chemical synapse in here it is the one terminal end of the axon and it is the part of the dendrites in here how the nerve impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another neuron by the help of this chemical substance this is called the neurotransmitter right by this help of this neurotransmitter nerve impulse transfer from one neuron to another target neuron this chemical substance are called the neurotransmitter right so this is our today class that is we discuss the most important sub topic just summarize this thing So in our today class we discuss about the control and coordination for CBSC class ten. In our control coordination in the animals we discuss the day one that is the nervous system the introduction. So in our next class we discuss the different reflex action after that the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. And in the nervous system day one class we discuss the structure of the neuron which is ultimately the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. the function of the nervous system is the receive the impulse and transfer the impulse and coordination is controlling system in our body right this is the function of the nervous system next we discuss about the structure of the neuron neuron have the different parts like cyton axon and the medullary uh, bodies this is the structure of the neuron this is the cyton the nucleus is there and small processes emerging out that is the dendrites next we discuss already that is the axon that is a long branches which is covering by the a myelinated sheet and next we discuss about the types of neuron three types of neuron is there that is the sensory neurons the motor neurons and the associated neurons the types of three types of neurons and next the synapse that is a contact point between the two neurons and finally we discuss about the neurotransmitter that is the agent like act as a chemical messenger which transfer the nerve impulse from one neuron to the other neuron so this is our today class and one important topic already we discussed that is the transmission of new nerve impulse this from dendrites next to cell body next to one axon nerve endings after that synapse next the another neuron that is the transmission of nerve impulse
okay so it is the most and most important day that is a day one for control and coordination is animals so thank you all of the student and like the science cinderella shatani koniket shodashis gourav rastif onubhav and shoham sudipto dishari shobhajit and koendrila ankund devaru shomodito shatanu and the srijita devaruna nirupama ishan krishnashish arushi shouresh and roshmi promit devraj devargo and the shaktoshi and shomodit and other also all, all other student are uh, uh, thank you thank you very much and the wish you best of luck and after the class is finished within 2 hours i give you the homework right in where in the youtube description box so today our class now end thank you thank you very much